I could smell it, and I could taste it too. It's about to rain. See them clouds? See how discolored they are? That's how I know when that rain's coming. Them clouds fill up. I know bad weather when I see it. <laughs> and we're about to have some bad weather. My knee and my back start to ache up whenever it's about to rain, and that's what's happening right now. I'm getting ached up. See that? Well, a Hammond man has found a viral fame on TikTok with his hilarious, relatable characters. We are joined by Southern Dad, Dane Linfors, to tell us how he found his niche. Thank you so much for Thank joining you for us. Me. Thank you. We are so excited to have you on this show. Uh, our digital producer, Jesse Brooks, kind of first brought your story to our Fox 8 audience, so we're excited to now have you on NOLA now. Thank you. Uh, we just watched a few clips of your character, the Southern Dad, that has connected with people all over social media. Uh, what has been the inspiration for you creating this character? I just, uh, I just whipped him up. I mean, it was a character that I went into, like, it was a dad that I always wanted, I guess you could say, you know what I mean? The, the one that's like, I'm not mad, but buddy, I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I just whipped him up. Just whipped them up. Yep. I love that. Uh, so how do you get into character uh, and just kind of become this person? Because, I mean, you have the whole persona. You have the voice. Uh, it, it seems like you really put a, a lot of thought into kind of creating uh, this persona that we now know on social media. Oh, man, how do I get in character? I just kind of like, I don't know. I have to kind of get into the character, I guess you could say. And I have to look, I have to look in the mirror like four or five times. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but yeah, I mean, pretty much it goes in my, I don't know, I have a, I mean, my brain, it just stores so much stuff. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, I just kind of have to get in character myself. So how did you first get into comedy? Like, was it something that you always wanted to do? You know, were you the class clown growing up? Uh, how, how did you even decide, okay, this is what I want to do? I, I mean, I was always a class clown. Um, I just, uh, I think uh, right before the pandemic, I just started like filming myself, um, you know, learning how to edit videos, learning how to deliver comedy on, you know, you know, uh, different platforms. And I just ran with it, you know. Um, and you're taking off for sure. I mean, are there any comedians that influenced you growing up? Um, I watch a lot of Saturday Night Live growing up. Uh, Chris Farley, Adam Sandler, uh, Will Ferrell. You know, a lot of mad TV, mm -hmm. just um, a lot of improv, I guess you could say. I took improv in high school, okay. too. Okay. Um, but yeah. So this just has kind of translated into what you do now. Uh, and now this has been so successful. You're now a full time content creator. Full time. Uh, what was that moment, or what was that viral video for you? that made you realize, okay, I, I really have something here. This can really take off for me. Uh, it was uh, the speed and ticket video. Um, I just, I think I had like 500,000 followers on TikTok. I posted that video and the next day I had a million wow. followers on TikTok. And I was like, okay, well, that's, uh, that's it. So well, for people who haven't maybe seen that video, kind of just quickly explain like the premise. Um, it's a Southern Dad, uh, he finds a speed and ticket in the son's truck and he's upset about it. I found a speeding ticket in your truck. <laughs> I don't know how you nailed these voices. This is so good. Yeah. You know, and now you're a, a big social media star. Uh, how has your life changed since you have grown to this level of popularity? Oh, I'm, uh, I mean, a lot of people want to come take pictures, <laughs> make videos with me and stuff like that. I mean, I'm very thankful, you know, um, it's changed. I met a lot of cool people, a lot of big names, a lot of celebrities. Um, I'm very thankful, mm -hmm. you know. You know, social media influencing and social media content creation has just really skyrocketed. It seems like everybody is now getting into this space, uh, whether it's TikTok or Instagram, um, you know, just really kind of shaping that world for a lot of people out there. So for someone who maybe want, wants to get into this and maybe, you know, they don't know how to get started, do you have any advice for them? Commit. All, I mean, ride it to the wheels fall off. You know, I mean, I was very nervous because, you know, whenever you film yourself, you're like, oh, man, you know, I don't look that good. Or just commit. 
You know, um, I think a lot of people are very talented. They just don't know how to deliver it a certain way or they go so far right, so far left. But just, just commit, you know, own it, you know. How I started was just setting the phone up on the tripod and hitting the button, you know, and I learned how to edit myself and uh, deliver it. I mean, you got to just deliver it a certain way. You know, I, I, when I de deliver my comedy, I want the follower to be like, I know a guy. I know a guy just like that, you know, so, yeah. Yeah. You know? Uh, and, and now you are, you've even performed in Nashville, and you're, you're kind of branching out a little bit. Tell me about some stuff that you're getting into now. Oh, Nashville is a new spot. I mean, there's everybody's over there. Uh, I just touched down in Nashville, and I, and I just link up with so many other content creators and, and, and uh, other musicians, and I just... Uh, spread my wings, I guess you could say, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We thank are you. so excited to have you on the show, and we really wish you the best as you continue to grow in your career. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stick around. We'll have more Nola now after the break. <laughs>